So in this lesson, we're going to talk about uh, how to delete all data and start from scratch. So uh, this has to do with the QuickBooks Online Plus, and it will also work on QuickBooks Online Essentials, but it won't work on QuickBooks Online Start. So if you have Start, this will not going to work, but if you have QuickBooks Online, plus and essential it'll work so this is to delete all data you have entered and start from scratch so you just tried it for a couple of days and uh, uh, now you want to you want to start all over again it's a press start so first you log in and uh, uh, with your home page and uh, so the, the subscription has to be within 60 days time frame if it's over 60 days from your subscription date then you can wipe out uh, we have to delete one transaction at a time so that's very time consuming so hopefully if it is within 60 days time frame you can use this and delete everything and start all over again so we are at the uh, home page you, you you're logged in and you're at the home page here you will see uh, your URL address it's qbo.intu.com forward slash and in this case it's 632 it could be 6 c32 c35 it doesn't matter at the end you will see home page so the home page this is the one subdirectory you want to change to Pours company, P U R G E C O M P A N Y. So change from home page to Pours company, P U R G E C O M P A N Y, Pours company, and see what happens here. So now you'll, you'll, you'll give you a message, it will say, Are you sure you want to wipe out, wipe your QuickBooks online company? And in this case, I have certain transactions recorded. So in your case, actual transactions will be different. So either case, it will, it will clean or delete all your previously entered transactions. So all you have to do here, you come down and it will ask you if you agree, type yes, and then click OK. So let's click Let's type S and click OK. So it's right here, S and click OK. See what happens. It's very fast and uh, this is the time to think you want to do this or not. So if you do it, then there's no going back. So let's, this is uh, OK. Let's click OK button and see what, ha what happens here. So the next message it will give you is wipe out company data. They, they have already wiped data and now creating a new one, it will ask you what type of company you want to create. So basically select the type of company uh, your, your business, uh, uh, business in and then you want to create account based on your industry. That's recommended. But if you are expert and you want to create your own chart of accounts, then select the, the next one. Otherwise, just stay with uh, create accounts based on my industry. And now, this this wipe out data now. This is the this is the last moment. So just wipe data, and it'll be really fast. And now, it will take you back to your home page again and you have no transactions left now. So now it's a fresh start. So that's all you got to do. And uh, if you go back to purse company again, let's see what happens. See, there's nothing there. You have deleted everything. They only have a certain chart of accounts left and uh, you need that for fresh start. So let's go back to home again from here. Uh, that's it. 
So uh, visit uh, our website, pfcontroller.com, uh, if you need uh, more information. Thank you.